Hi, Elizabeth. How are you? Thank you for showing up. Yeah, it's been quite long. Actually, I I think I was joining with the other link. And I used to wait on and off. <laughs> you, you were driving without pedaling and you used to wait on and off? Yeah, I was like uh, joining with the other link. Oh the, oh, the other link. Uh, all right, so we should go to the other link and make sure that somebody is there directing traffic. Yeah, mostly I used to be like uh, the one who was in the other meeting in normal day, but today I got the mail. With oh, this... yeah. And yeah, the mail. Yeah. And the uh, the group mail got you to this link. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, yeah. yeah. They could... Ask Sean to oh, change the link. Oh, great. So today we're also on, um, we're going to be on uh, Clubhouse as well because they want to listen in um, to this, if it's okay with you. Uh, could you repeat? Cl Clubhouse is another app where um, people, they're having, been having a, a meeting about this paper today. And okay. And they've uh, been discussing it, carbon footprint calculators. And oh, okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Here's the here's the link to that. Are you on Clubhouse? Uh, no, not. Okay. I'm not with. Okay, let me go through. Like uh, you are sharing the link, right? Yeah. Yes, and the paper that I wanted to discuss today. Did you get a chance to read it? Uh, let me check it. I don't think so, but let me check it. Um, let's... Oh, let me go to the calendar and check that link to calendar. Recording in progress. <laughs> right, that, that, that link definitely works. <laughs> hey, it automatically started the recording. And uh, yeah. Okay, so I, I put the link into the chat again. Um, and you have the clubhouse link there that you could put into the chat if anybody else shows up. And the paper starts off with um, 
a model of, I guess you would call it reproductive um, carbon dioxide emissions, and then it goes into the math. The math, and we've been discussing a calculator that I built. Um, based upon the Environmental Protection Agency's carbon footprint calculator. Let's be on Clubhouse. Okay, I'm back on Clubhouse. Okay. So I'm on Clubhouse at the same time. And so right now we're just opening up the paper it's in the chat on the Zoom link. It is on the Zoom. Um... You can share your screen also. Yes, I, I will in a minute. I think we can all share our screens. I didn't put it on uh, any sort of setting. So if anybody would like to share their screen, absolutely welcome to just go ahead and, and um, I'll stop sharing my screen. Would you like to start sharing yours? Can I see you? No, uh, I actually joined from my phone. If okay. you want me to uh, share the screen, I will join back from my laptop. You know, you can do you can share a screen. Let's see. Go to Zoom. The meeting chat does not allow you to turn the screen sideways. So then go to share. One of the buttons at the bottom of the screen is share. And then you can share photo, document, web URL, screen. Sure. Uh, no, no, it is not that. Uh, actually, I I don't feel it is comfortable sharing from mobile. Oh, I see. Some reason I was disconnected. So, um, do you you want to put that? Uh, okay, okay. So all I have to do is go to share, share screen. I'm trying to share the PDF that had been sent out. Start now. Permit drawing other over other apps. Okay, whatever. I'll turn that on. And then what? That's where I got. Okay, so now I'm sharing my screen. Does You're not sharing your screen. Can you hear me? I can hear you, yes. Okay, are you trying to share the PDF with the reproduction of the carbon legacies of individuals, that one? Yes, can you see that? Uh, I have it up on my screen if you want me to share it. Sure. Um, okay, hang on. Let me stop so it sharing. It looks like we all have- I'm not sharing. Okay, can you see it? Oh, wait. Hang on. Okay. Back to Zoom. Hmm. Am I, is, am I sharing? Because it looks like I am. Yeah, yeah. We are able to see your screen. I Thank was you. actually uh, going to open it and you have started sharing. Good. Okay. Thank you very much. No problem. I just happened to <laughs> figure out how to get in and have it up. So, Where's my. Um... I don't think my personal video has to be on. Did you know what, um, did anybody know what our, our goal is? is are we going to walk through this together or what's the plan? Yeah, so the math that's down near the bottom of the page uh, shows us how to develop an algorithm that we can then use 
to code the JavaScript that is connects the front end of the, the carbon footprint calculator to the back end where a person would actually be able to just use a carbon footprint calculator to put onto Hyperledger um, their, their carbon credit or their carbon debt or whatever they have. And then that's it. They don't have to, they wouldn't have to go into um, making an NFT out of their carbon credit, posting it on, you know, they, they would just be, it would just be an automatic um, carbon credit. So, and then their wallet would show up at the top. So I did it. Um, I, I made a carbon footprint calculator that's the, that's the, the front end, just the HTML. And I tried using JavaScript that the, um, that the Environmental Protection Agency used to connect theirs with their calculator. And I found that they, um, they use their own, they use this government. Uh, it's not a global thing. It's, it's the United States government protected. Okay. Um, so I wanted to make this a global, uh, globally available. So we turned the math into an algorithm. Do you want me to go down to, do you want me to, go down to a certain um, section here? Or? The math at the bottom. It was the, down here. The, yeah. There you are. Right there? Yes. And then the okay. JavaScript will hook up the front end with the back end based upon this algorithm that's based upon this map. Mm -hmm. So this is used by the EPA, you said? I will. So I got my carbon footprint calculator. I, first, what I did uh, was I, uh, I took all the code from the um, public code from the Environmental Protection Agency's website, their carbon footprint calculator. And then I modified it and added many things. We have a couple more things to add that people on Clubhouse have suggested today. And then uh, we... Uh, then I, I I tried modifying the um, the JavaScript, um, and I was able to get one page at a time to work. Um, but I'd like for the whole thing to work so that all you have to do is put everything on one page, like I have on on mine. Uh, let me put a link to it in the chat. You want me to stop sharing? No, no, no. I'm just going to put a link to it in the chat. Okay. Um, so if I can. Pretty easy since it's my website. All I have to do is remember my own website. I have, I'm putting you on mute for a minute on my end. I have to grab a call. Actually, it's pinned to the top of the page in Clubhouse. If somebody wants to put that in there for me, I'm not using the same device for Clubhouse. So there is a way to turn a mathematical equation into an algorithm. Does anybody know how to do that already? Or should I tell me, has anybody ever turned a mathematical equation into an algorithm? Turned a mathematical equation into an algorithm. 
Okay, well, I have a, um, there's actually a tu tutorial on the website. I'll, I'll, I'll put that in the chat too, if I can find it. Yeah, I have never done that. And I could stop sharing if you want to try to see if your share will work again. Let's see. So literally you would just click on the share screen, green button on the bottom, and then you have a choice of sharing your screen or a specific app. And then after you, I usually just share my screen. So if somebody's um, trying to share your screen, all you have to do is ask somebody else to stop sharing theirs. Yeah. And then it's, it's like that. If somebody wants to share, I'll, you know. Just, How did I do that? No, I'm sharing your. Uh, oh, I can't get into your uh, the link you sent. Do you want to try it? If if you oh, want to share the link it, I sent. Green twenty four seven dot org slash calculator dot htm. Right. So that's the right link. Uh, it did. It wasn't like, giving me access for, uh, for, as a well, secure connection. That's no, due to yeah. security reasons, it is not loading. Because, yeah, you know uh, that it's it's because it's HTTP, not HTTPS. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I had my I had my website up before they had a secure sockets layer, so I never bothered to go into make a secure sockets layer for my website. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, my my Norton was blocking it. Yeah, well, uh, I'm blocking. Um, but if you can share the screen, it will be better. Oh, no, I can't do it either. Well, somebody on Clubhouse can do it because we we're able to load it up on Clubhouse, right? The link at the top of the page. Is any? Uh, let me. Um. Hmm. I wonder if I can. Okay. I wonder if I can. Join both at the same time on the same device so I can where, where it's loading up. So is anybody on both Clubhouse and um, the Zoom meeting at the same time? No. I think that yeah. Was getting on the phone call, but she's not come up the room at home. So she should be in the Zoom. She might be able to, uh, she's here in the afternoon to come back unless she has only the same device. Okay. I kind of see Philip joined us, but he's on the phone. So really, welcome. So well, I, I wasn't aware of the room because it's early in the morning for me. And um, is yes, it's open. Okay, so I'm inviting people. Yeah, sure. And then I'll be multitasking this morning. Okay. All right. Thank and the, you. the link to the Zoom room is in the ch in the chat for the um, clubhouse. So if you click on that link, you know, maybe I could um, the link exactly to the Zoom room. I have the link to the payer subgroup wiki page and if you have a linux foundation id you can actually change that page and you can add your own meeting to it and um, i'll just stay on clubhouse because i i you know i'll just stay on clubhouse okay, okay. Just, just listen in mostly sounds like a great topic though terrific So who here is looking at the math and understanding it? I certainly am not understanding it because I'm a marketing person, not a medical person. Yeah, my pay grade. Uh, my pay grade. Well, my grade a bit, but I do trust that you understand your mathematics. So if you are. Well, it's it's. I don't want to explain through. I take that the numbers. Uh, you know your numbers. 
Okay. I'm putting into the chat at Clubhouse right now the, the link specifically directly to the Zoom room so you don't have to go to the wiki page first. Somebody please click on that and tell me if it works. <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> So it's, I'm actually getting into the Zoom meeting on my cell phone. Recording in progress. Great. Elizabeth, I have posted the current Zoom link in our uh, meeting chat.
Okay, so somebody in Zoom, can you share the screen for the mathematical equation while I look for my power cord for my laptop? Anasuya? Yeah, the paper, right? the paper that was up before yeah. somebody else want to share it or no as i'll share it yeah it's because i might have to drop sooner i can share Okay, so the mathematical equation, what we, the first thing we do is um, put everything out into very basic um, equations. So something plus something equals something, something times something equals something. And, and then we'll add up or, or we'll uh, put, put all of those answers together in another one. So we're making a tree. A tree of oper of mathematical operations. Does anybody have a, a, a whiteboard you want to do that on? We can actually put together. Does anybody want to start up a whiteboard and start doing that, or or put it into the chat so we can all copy and paste it? So, so here we are. So for example, so it's too small for me to see it. I can't see any of the any of the math at all. I'm on a cell phone. Just take the maybe the first equation or or the last equation, whichever one you like, um, and enlarge it so everybody can see it. The, they're down near the bottom. Scroll down. All we're seeing, we're not seeing the math. So scroll down one more and no, then no, enlarge one it. Second, one second. Oh, okay. Then what we do is, you know, I, I guess everybody knows Python um, enough to know that you can just make an equation. You call it A, uh, the person who's going to input A. Um, say a number of children plus B, you know, what, what location they're in, and then equals C equals um, the number of uh, tons of carbon dioxide equivalents per year um, uh, from that child, from having that, those ch that number of children in that country at that time, well, in that time, C. Um, what I particularly wanted to get out of these equations was for how many years, because we know that in the United States, we're in a developed country, um, having one child um, causes 58.6 metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent emissions per year, but for how many years, you see? And this one shows you actually, this, this, um, this paper shows you how many, how many years that goes for. That's, that was the missing part of my calculator. How many years do, do I calculate? Because since this is a lifetime calculator for your lifetime emissions, I wanna make sure that um, the person is able to calculate their entire lifetime. So say they had a child 10 years ago, um, is that 10 times 58.6 me uh, metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalents 
for the for their lifetime so far uh, from uh, from reproduction. So, f but then what if it's what if it is it eighteen years? Is it more than eighteen years? Is it twenty? Can somebody read the paper and, and tell me is it is it for the rest of your life? Is it from the moment you have a child for the rest of your life that that you are a, a, um, that the attribution goes to you for fifty eight point six metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalents per year. So if you live, you know, if you live 40 more years, then it would be 40 times that. Does it never end? Do you want to read that to us, please? What you just highlighted? Yeah, in 2005, all the emissions of carbon dioxide for the combustion of fossil fuels were 28.1 billion metric tons or 4.31 metric tons per person per year. Assuming a global population of 6.51 billion, uh, it's uh, as per 2008, uh, I think we have uh, crossed 8 billion. Three scenarios of future carbon emissions were considered for the 11 countries focused on this paper. The 11 countries we showed uh, over here, China, India, and uh, this is uh, okay. The fertility, uh, like per children for a woman, an average person years. So, like what they are telling is, from the ancestral, uh, the uh, it it goes on like kind of exponentially. It grows the carbon footprint for each and every individual.
So this paragraph that the optimistic one uh, it shows different uh, like in 2005, like 0.5 uh, what is that is T, that is what is uh, carbon dioxide per person per year. Okay, from 2005 to 2100, it will change like that. And they project that 9.1 billion population in uh, 2,100. Like, uh, there is a 85 percentage reduction in global emissions between 2000 and 2,100. Like, um, the comparative uh, rate of population growth, probably it has come down. So like uh, in 2005, it is 4.31 metric ton, uh, but in uh, 2100, it can, it is uh, projected to be 0.5 um, metric ton. Uh, per person. So, and of course, it is extremely an ambitious target. So, it depends on the countries because Then the constant values and the pessimistic values they have given. Okay, what is the context of uh, using this paper over here? Are they planning to like uh, uh, some tokenization something you are uh, you are planning over here? I'm sorry, I just.
Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, so my Wi-Fi cut off, so I'm back. Uh, can I stop sharing or? Uh... Well, no, I, I, um, my Wi-Fi cut out and I just got back, so there's nothing in the chat. Zoom doesn't save the chat like Clubhouse does. Okay, okay. And only we both are there in the meeting as usual. Maybe I can do it, get on my cell phone. No, so but I just want to know, like, uh, uh, why you wanted us to go through this paper today? Sorry, can you say that louder, please? No, why, uh, what is the context of uh, seeing this paper today, reading this paper today? So the math in there shows you, um, that, okay, it shows you how to describe mathematically the carbon footprint of reproduction. Then we turn that into an algorithm and then we code that into the JavaScript and then we make that part of the cal carbon footprint calculator. And then when a person um, enters their carbon footprint, it, uh, they enter all of their data into the carbon footprint calculator for the lifetime. It comes up with a lifetime carbon credit or lifetime carbon debt. And then when they go in to ask for, um, for healthcare, they can either use their carbon credit or there will be something on there that will say, well, you have um, carbon, you have, uh, you, or, or there will be a, um, a polluter who will be paying for the, the health care because the okay, polluter okay. Like, your... Uh, in your work that you have, uh, that uh, in your website that you have given that, right? How to like uh, go with the credit and uh, that system for the carbon credits. So that can right. be incorporated and, over and here. Then when, yeah. Yes, please continue. Then, then when, um, then when a anybody wins a lawsuit against a a polluter, uh, the polluter it will they can use um, I guess it's a GIS system to determine what locations were polluted, and then the people in that location location are given um, free medical care to number one, uh, find out what the damages are from that pollution. And then number two, to um, get the health care paid for, to remediate that so that they're, they don't become one of the statistics of dying of pollution related diseases. Um, so there's one lawsuit that I did, I have already, um, how artificial intelligence would scan the documents, like the settlement agreement from the courthouse to public document, and then would find the people who are located there because the attorney right now is getting paid $1,000 an hour to do this. And then once they find, it would um, automatically pay through a uh, blockchain, it would pay the, the, the patient, the pro provider from the polluter's account. Now, how do you get the polluter's account? Well, see, that's attached through the court proceeding. And you, the, the attorney is going to win, um, make $1,000 an hour attaching that uh, polluter's account to the blockchain so that the payments can be made automatically. And then when, uh, when the person who's asking for the healthcare attaches their public key. It will show their carbon credit or debt depending upon what they've entered into their carbon footprint calculator. And then um, the polluter might actually, if they already, it, the polluter might actually then have to pay directly to 
um, the, uh, the patient as well as to the provider for the healthcare because there might be damages from previous exposures to the pollution where uh, it, it cannot be, rem uh, there, there's no um, healthcare procedure that can cure that disease. For them, the, the patient might have past bills that they have already paid and get compensated for those. And, uh, I, put, I, I actually made that part of my proposal to, to Hyperledger last year. Yeah. Um, and that's a matter of public record. Is everything you put on Hyperledger stays there forever. So I can't even. You know, actually, if I search for my website, the only place it comes up is at Hyperledger. Okay. Because I don't get exposure anywhere else. You know, I don't put it on public websites. I try to keep it private because it's it's a work in progress. It's under construction. Okay. Let's hope like uh, our uh, group will get some momentum and we will be uh, working on it. Um, so the, we're having a, a second room tomorrow, same place. I think it's the same place. Um, I'm not sure it might be at the other room, the one that does not record. Um, I've uh, it's, let's see, I put a link to the chat in, in the on the clubhouse. To that room as yeah. well. Yeah, well this is great so thing. that's, uh, it's, yeah. If somebody could put that link into the Zoom room, that would be great because I, or, you know what? I could just copy it and mail it to myself and then open my mail on my, on my laptop. If you'd like to have another uh, clubhouse room to that, hopefully I'll be more prepared. And nobody's getting paid for this. Um, this is, you know, we're, we're just doing this for fun. So. And for me, yeah, I would just like to see a future in which, you know, my health care is paid for by the polluter or the perpetrator, whoever did the damage, instead of the taxpayer, the poor, innocent taxpayer having to pay for everybody's health care, even though they didn't do the damage. There's no incentive right now to, to not pollute because you have to pay for the pollution anyway. You have to pay for the health care caused by the pollution, whether you pollute or not. If you didn't have to, you know, if you only paid for the health care of the person who got injured by pollution, if you polluted, then there would be an incentive to not pollute, another incentive. And so if that's all on blockchain and, you know, for example, if I were to, if, if I'm asking for um, healthcare and they they look at my blockchain ledger and they say, well, you actually did a lot of pollution, so you are actually going to be partially responsible for your own medical bill because you are part of the problem. Well, then there's an incentive. Well, you know, if I stop polluting, then do I, does all of my medical care get paid for by the polluter? Yes, it gets paid for by the polluter, not by you because you didn't pollute. I'm trying to, that's an incentive we don't have right now in the United States. Does any, anywhere have that incentive? Where you're, you're, I know in, in England, they have this incentive. If you smoke, the doctor doesn't want to see you anymore. Go away, right? So 
there's an incentive to take care of yourself. What about an incentive to take care of the environment at the doctor's office? And they tell you, yeah, I'll help you. But you have to stop polluting first or you're gonna have to pay out of pocket. Elizabeth, do we have any other uh, agenda for today? If not, shall we um, close this uh, Zoom meeting? Yeah, so yeah, we'll go ahead and close today and then we'll um, tomorrow, I'll, I'll transfer everything over to my laptop so I won't have to depend upon other people to provide the links in the chat that I can open. And then the paper, because one of the main things about this paper is if you look at the first diagram, it's saying that this all comes from an initial female. Well, that's, see, it's, it's kind of incorrect because if the initial female has, a, a goes to, a, a, I guess, a sperm bank, it gets the sperm, and the, the male and has signed a form waiving her right to the male, uh, to the, the sperm donor being partially responsible for, you know what I'm saying? So if she's going to the sperm bank and, and, and it's an anonymous donor, well, then that's true that she's re responsible for half of it and the other half is responsible. Nobody is responsible because it's an anonymous donor. So where where's the where is the waiver that she has to sign saying she's going to be responsible for all 100% of pollution instead of just 50%? No, overall, I am not uh, uh, very much okay with that paper. The way it is, uh, it's a good work, but uh, the way it is taken, a <laughs> lot more things to be taken care of. But uh, interesting readings, everything. If you see that, like, uh, there is a vast dif uh, dif mismatch and difference between the few countries, like, and a uh, few others. So, if you see that the world's environment uh, pollution and whatever ha happened, like, uh, long back itself, it goes back to some particular countries. So I don't think so, like uh, that is a very good thing to talk on a public forum. So, so if you see it on the screen? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, Archer Kite and Lust says that The scientifically estimated cost to humanity ranges from 10,000 on up per ton for carbon credit. And right now it's selling for $10 per ton. Um, a person could actually be, have an incentive to not have children because then they would, if they only had one, they would be helping with genetic diversity. But if they had two, then they would be incurring the cost of having to pay for, um, maybe paying for a carbon credit so that they could have that child. And then a, a person who has no children would be able to um, save that. Okay, so I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, see you then. Bye -bye. I hope to see you tomorrow at the same time. Tomorrow this time I'm not very sure about because I have other calls. Uh, okay. But uh, Monday I will be able to join, I hope. Well, next Monday is the patient um, group that starts at, at an hour. It starts at this time. 
Okay, okay. So we have it on also. So it's right? two weeks. So it's two weeks. Um, it's every other week. Yeah, I will try joining tomorrow. If there is not much clash with other calls, okay? See you then. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.